Okay, I'm standing here with, with like Professor Shimon Weiss from the UCLA. Like Professor Weiss, you played an essential role in the last 20 years of single molecule detection. What was for you the most striking moment in all these 20 years of development and research? Uh, what really got us into uh, this field was the paper published by Eric Betzig in 1993 where he uh, demonstrated single mole molecule detection at room temperature. Uh, we had built at that time a infield microscope and we wanted to use it. The minute his paper was published, we put molecules on, on a cover slip and we saw single molecules. And the next question for us was, what can we do? What kind of spectro interesting, interesting spectroscopy we could do? And we decided to put another molecule next by. And uh, the best way to do that was to space two molecules by DNA. And we were able to measure a single molecule threat for the first time. And for us, that was a really a big moment because we understood that we could move from static structure biology to dynamic structure. And uh, experiencing this roller coaster for the last 20 years was really just amazing because that method has been adopted by many, many thousands of scientists uh, looking at all kinds of different questions. Uh, another moment was uh, introducing quantum dots to biology. Those are amazing probes and good, very good single molecule probes. And yet another moment was, of course, uh, the moment that many other people uh, identified, which was the super resolution imaging. Uh, that's an application of single molecule spectroscopy that really moved biology to a whole new arena. And we expect many, many more discoveries to come from this development. So the last 20 years were just absolutely terrific. So what is the near future then? What would you say, let's say, after super resolution, well, I would expect basically uh, uh, adopt adoption of this type of methods to real life problems, uh, industry uh, diagnosis, um, uh, drug discovery. Uh, we have basically ex heard today the very first talk in that direction where uh, sim single molecule approaches are used in IVF and I expect many, many more advances in medicine uh, based on, on, on single molecule spectroscopy and imaging. That means that in another 20 years, the single molecule, uh, the single molecule de like detection would uh, influence our whole life. That yes, will be yes, I absolutely expect what we have, what the whole community did uh, over the last 20 years to really influence lives of people. Um, and I think that we will have better drugs and uh, uh, early diagnosis and uh, personalized medicine that will all use in one way or another single molecule methods. Well, like, thank you very much for this great mm -hmm. view to single molecule and the future. Hope it will come all that way. Thank, thank you. Thank you.